Hi friends, I hope you're all doing wonderfully and having a really awesome day. Um, I'm very excited to share a book with you today. It's one of my absolute favorites. It is called I'm Trying to Love Spiders. So remember, before we went on break, we were talking about all kinds of different living things and how they met their four basic needs. So remember, our four basic needs that all living things need to meet in order to survive are food, air, water, and shelter. So let's see if um, we can see how the spider meets their basic needs in this story. I am very excited to read it with you. Let's get started. It's one of my favorite books. I'm trying to love spiders. It isn't easy. Words and Pictures by Bethany Martin. I keep telling myself, spiders are cool. I want to love them. It says, me and spiders forever down there. I mean, spiders have been around for millions of years, moving silently, swinging into action. Spider and dinosaur spring break. 165 million BC, so that means a long, long time ago. I want to think of them like bug ninjas. There's some little ninja spiders so you can see. Like this spider right here. I'm going to try really, really hard to like him. Maybe if I study him for a while. Hmm. Study that spider for a little bit. I think it's working. Ah, it's moving. Squish it, squish it, squish it. It says squish here, squish here. That didn't work out, but next time we'll be better. Next time, I'll focus on all of the cool superpowers spiders have, like eight eyes. Hmm. And spider webs. Spider webs are cool. Spiders spin webs out of protein packed spider silk they make themselves. Hmm, do you think a spider web meets a basic need? Hmm, think about it, my friends. That's like you or me building a house with our hair and then catching food on it. I'm thinking a spider web can meet two basic needs, friends. Mm, remember, the four basic needs every living thing has is food, air, shelter, or in water. Mm, let's keep reading. Some spiders even have billions of tiny hairs called scopulae on their legs that let them stick on walls, ceilings, or... Oh my gosh, there's a spider stuck in here! Smash it! Smash it! Get it right now! We're not very good at loving spiders just yet. If only spiders were more like things I really love, like burritos and soccer and rocket ships. Instead, their closest relatives are totally gross. Arachnid family reunions. So they're related to scorpions and ticks. But it's not like I'm scared of every icky thing. It's just something about spiders. Maybe it's the fact that almost all spiders are venomous. Hmm. Spiders can't chew very well, much like your baby sister. They need liquid foods. Since no one's invented a tiny spider-sized blender, Spiders rely on their venom to dissolve their dinners, making bugs soft and slurpable. I've always wanted to be a smoothie. Interesting. But to be fair, while there are about 40,000 known species of spiders, only a few can bite humans. So most of them don't bite humans at all. And even fewer can harm you with their venom. So you'll be okay. Wanted, dead or smashed a lot. Hmm. Female black widow or brown and brown recluse. This spider has a round hourglass on its underbelly. This one has a violin shaped marking on its back. So these are poisonous enough to ruin your day. 
but fatal spider bites are so rare. You have a better chance of getting struck by lightning, so you most likely will never, ever have to worry about getting bit by a spider. Oh my gosh, okay, don't panic, but there is definitely a spider going over there. And we are not going to squish it this time, right? We'll just try to pet him, maybe. Let's try. Let's try and pet him. He's not so bad. Whoops. Nope. We squished him. I'm never going to love spiders at this rate. Maybe I should just focus on what spiders are good at. Like eating bugs. That's got to be helpful, right? A single spider can eat over 75 pounds of bugs in a year. So here's a dog that weighs 75 pounds. He's a boxer dog. And here's 75 pounds of bugs. I've even heard that some farmers use spiders to keep harmful insects out of their crops. Interesting. And oh wait, looks like some of those bugs made it over here. Get out of here, bugs! I can't even read my book with all of these bugs! Hey, what's that spider doing? Ooh, what's he doing, friends? Wow! Thanks, little guy! That was really impressive! Spider present for you! It says box of flies to spider. Aw, did you make that for me? I think I might finally love... Ah! Cockroach, squish it, smash it, make it go away! One thing at a time. The end. Well, friends, I really loved reading that book with you. Um, we learned all about spiders and how they meet their basic needs of food and shelter. Um... But I, I loved reading it with you. Thank you so much for listening. I can't wait to read another story to you soon. Have a good rest of your day. Bye, friends.